mom went to his dog house to get out of the rain. Did you like the story about mom? If yes, let's answer the following question. Number one, who are the characters in the story? Good job! It was Bum and the bird. Who likes to play with his bone? Perfect! It was Bum. What did Bum do when it was hot outside? Correct! So Bum went under the tree. Who sings very loud? That's it! It was the bird. Why did Bum's ear hurt? Great! Because the bird sings very loud. What did Bum do when his ears hurt? Exactly right! Bum walked away. Why did Bum went to his doghouse? Fantastic! Because it started to rain. From the questions earlier, we just answered why it happened and what happened. What happened is called the effect. And why it happened is called the cause. Let's go back to the story and let's analyze which is the effect and which is the cause. Are you ready kids? The cause or why it happened is It was hot outside. The effect or what happened when it was hot outside. So Pam went under the tree. The cause is a bird sings very loud. The effect or what happened to Bum when a bird sings very loud is so it hurt Bum's ears. The cause is Bum's ears are hurt. The effect or what happened to Bum when his ears were hurt so he walked away the cause is it started to rain the effect or what happened to bum when it started to rain so he went to his dog house let's try other examples of cause and effect cause Yuri eats sweets every day. What will happen to Yuri if she eats sweets every day? The effect? She has a toothache. Cause He throws banana peel on the street. What will happen to a boy if he throws banana peel on the street. The effect? So the boy falls down. Cause The cousins are playing matches. What is the effect when the cousins are playing matches? So their house got burned. Ben saved his extra money. What will happen if Ben saved his extra money? The effect? So he bought a new bicycle. Cause the boy fell on the ground. What will happen if the boy fell on the ground? The effect? So his knees got hurt. Let's know how a group activity. 
The title of our activity is Act Me Out. From the name itself, you are going to show your talent in acting. Isn't it fun, kids? I will group you into four and you will act what the scenarios I will give to you. You may make sounds but not use words. And these are the scenarios. For group one, you are playing baseball and the window breaks. Oh no! Group two, you are blowing a big chewing gum bubble and it pops on your face. Group three, you run fast and earn a trophy. Wow! And group four, you'll jump on the bed and get scolded. Congratulations on your activity. You outdid yourself today. Such an amazing talent, kids. Let's remember, a cause and effect relationship is something that happens and why it happens. What happened is called the effect. And why it happened is called the cause. Let's try for another activity. So let's start. You will identify the effect based on the picture given. You will encircle the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? Yes! So here for number one. Good job! Next, number two. job number three good job and number four good job let's try for another activity we have here column A and column B. You will match the causes on column A to its effect in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer. Under the column A, number 1, Andrea was playing under the ring. Number 2, Rose watch movies until midnight. 3. Dale did not study his lessons. 4. Jigs stepped on a wet floor. Under the column B, A. So he made a failing grade. B. So she got sick. C. So he passed the exam. D. So he fell down. And letter E. So she woke up late. What is your answer in number one? Good job! It's letter D. Andrea was playing under the rain. So, she got sick. What is your answer in number 2? Good job! It's letter E. Rose watched movies until midnight. So, she woke up late. What is your answer in number 3? Good job! It's letter A. Dale did not study his lessons, so he made a failing grade. What is your answer in number 4? Good job! It's letter D. 
Jiggs stepped on a wet floor, so he fell down. To evaluate if you understand our topic, let's try this one. For the next activity, please get your activity notebook and your pencil. You will encircle the cause in the sentence and underline the effect. Number 1. Elira dropped her ice cream, so she started to cry. Number 2. Maxine was hungry, so her mother made her a sandwich. Number 3. If the plants get water, it will grow and bloom. Number 4. Calix never brushed his teeth. That's why he has a toothache. And last, for number 5, Renz was so tired of playing, so he sleep soundly at night. Bravo, kids! You did a lot of work today. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot from our lesson. For your assignment, you will form three sentences with cause and effect. You will write it in your notebook and I will check it on our next meeting. Let's end up our lesson for today with a love clap. Stand up and let's do it together. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three. Ma. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot from my lesson. Goodbye.